the energy man knows of on the earth comes originally from the sun. Behold a fire blazing in the distance. With energy security becoming increasingly important, homegrown alternatives to fossil fuels will play a big part in Britain's energy future. Solar power provides 4% of our annual electricity, but on a sunny day, it can peak at 25%. The biggest solar farm is Shotwick in Flintshire, which saves the paper mill it's connected to 800,000 pounds a year. More and more consumers are wondering if solar could help them as well. Do you know what this is? Well, this is Google Trends, and this just shows you how often solar panels have been searched for the past five years. Look here, ups and down, peaks and troughs, next to nothing, next to nothing, next to nothing. What have we got here? Energy crisis, right? I want to learn about solar panels. I'm not going to ask Google. I'm going to go see the military. <laughs> this is the Defence School of Transport in East Yorkshire. Unlikely solar pioneers. Straight up and down at that curb at the top, all will be of it. It's home to training squadrons for the Army, Air Force and Marines. Biggest driving school in the world here in Leckenfield. 10,000 students a year. 500 vehicles are operated from here. And collectively, they accumulate 5 million miles a year. Yeah, so the military said, well, we've got to do something about this. That's a lot of carbon. We need to tidy the job up a bit. We're going to build a massive, great solar power. And that's what they've done. The size of that. 4,000 panels cover the area of five football pitches. The best view is from above. 2.2 megawatts when that's on song, you know. How many folks live on here? You're talking over a thousand. Over a thousand yeah. folks. But yeah, 750,000 pound electric bill a year, right? And a third of that is covered by these solar panels. So it's generating like a quarter of a million pound a year of electricity. This is the army's first solar farm and there are plans for 70 more to be built. Major David Owen was part of the Army's sustainability team that was behind it. You have an electric car, you have solar panels, yep. you personally. Yes. Yeah. Batteries as well. Batteries. Oh, you're not messing about. Well. Yeah, I'm all in for renewable energy, absolutely. And uh, my home is a, uh, is a smaller version of uh, Leckenfield here and the solar farm. This has been here for a year, yeah. right? What's the crack? Is so it working? It's, it's working brilliantly. Is it? It saves us a lot of money. Yeah, uh, yeah. It saves some carbon as well. Uh, and so we're, we're really pleased with the results. Like, with what's happening here and what you're doing at home, is this the future? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I definitely, definitely get solar panels on your roof at home. Yeah. Um, I, I have, and they've been a bit of a lifesaver, especially recently as energy prices are shooting Go up. Through the time. roof, yeah. Local solution to global problems. <laughs> One of the camp's most energy-intensive areas is its workshop. It is full of electrical equipment. Every air tool is powered by an electrical compressor. All right, mate. How are you getting on? Not too bad. Can I give you hand, please? Hmm? Can I give you hand? If you want, please. Yeah. In the daytime, at least, this is a solar-powered workshop. Just one more project using free energy in what has been a record-breaking right, year for solar generation around the world. China generated more electrical energy through solar than they did through wind. And they've got some massive wind turbines in China. So yeah, it's only going one way. Not that solar panels actually need sun. Daylight is sufficient and the internal chemistry prefers cooler conditions. This one here. Perfect. The most efficient time for a solar panel is sort of back-end springtime. Right. You know what I mean? When, it, when, it's, when the sun's out, but it's not blazing on. Every day's a school year. There is, however, a downside. Cost. Uh, the, the general rule of thumb for solar, 
10 grand to put it in, 10 years to pay for itself. The sort of lifetime for a, a solar panel is 25 years. So from year 11 to year 25, we're quids in. In perfect conditions, Leckenfield produces more electricity than it needs. The excess could be stored in batteries to be used at night, but they are expensive and in short supply. Do that one again. It is also possible to sell excess power back to the grid, but only at a nominal rate. The most effective solution is to simply find new things to plug in. Pass, pass, pass. Whatever you're generating, use it. So air source heat pumps, immersions, electric cars, all of that sort of stuff. But what they're doing at this place here is um, getting as many electric things as possible to use their electric. And that extends to a new fleet of electric utility buggies. Hey, guy. Now answer. Replacing the maintenance okay, team's no. gas guzzlers. Yes, thank you very much. And a progressive way of chauffeuring top brass. All right, we're going to go have a lap. Oh, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? A workshop and vehicle powered purely by energy from the sun. The only confirmation guy needed, the back home, he's made the right decision. I'm biting the bullet. I've put my deposit down, I'm buying solar panels. I'll soon be chucking the electric bill out the window. Hopefully. <laughs>